Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Echo Quest 1, the search for Cetus. Uh, there's three apartments left. We know that the, the, the sea cow, the Malamute, no, what's it called? Uh, manatee. <laughs> Malamute. It's a dog, isn't it? Uh, manatee is there. But I, I'm looking for a turtle. Which, uh... Okay, that tune sounds a little bit too much like a tune made by a very big company that made a movie that has, uh, it's also under the sea. There's a flag of Great Britain on the wall. How curious. How strange to see a grandfather clock under the sea. And I'm not even sure if this game was made before that movie or the other way around. Hmm. Plagiarism by that big mouse company. That's a surprise. A world globe sits on top of the sea turtle's bookcase. The sea turtle must like salvaging human items from the sea. The bookcase holds waterlogged copies of the Encyclopedia Britannica A through G, as well as other more popular fish press titles. What is this? A red deflated balloon is lying on the floor. It looks like it came from the same bunch of red balloons that the boy on the cruise ship was playing with. Oh so no. That's what Adam saw in the courtyard. Yeah, can we recycle this? Adam picks up the deflated balloon and puts it into his garbage bag so that another animal doesn't swallow it. Yeah, let's take a look at him. The poor sea turtle appears to have something stuck in his throat. He's having trouble breathing. A long white string hangs from his throat. Now, where has Adam seen string like that before? Yeah, I think uh, that has to do with the thing that we put in our recycling bag just a minute ago. The sea turtle can't talk to Adam while his throat is blocked. Okay, let's try and pull it out. I'm going to try to get the blockage out of your throat. Steady now. Adam pulls on the string. Boy, it's really in there. Okay. Well, that didn't help much. The string came off, but whatever is stuck in the turtle's throat is still in there. Oh no, but it's a good thing we got tweezers. Let's try this again. Open wide now. Adam uses the tweezers to reach carefully into the sea turtle's mouth and grasp the end of the object blocking his small throat. Hey. I say that was terribly nice of you. I was having the most dreadful time breathing. I can, I can imagine. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, uh, okay, sorry that that happened to you. That was a balloon I pulled out of your throat. Why'd you eat that? Because it looked like a shrimp. I mistook it for a particularly delectable dark comestible. My error, and a nearly fatal one. My throat, you see, is quite miniature. The rubbery texture of that balloon blocked it completely. They sometimes find huge whales who have been killed just by swallowing a little balloon. Ah, yes, my equally small-throated brothers. But I get ahead of myself. I am erroneous, professor of most of the fish in these parts. It's a pleasure to finally meet a human. I've taken quite a scholastic interest in you, as a species, that is. I noticed the flag. I'm Adam, and I actually find animals more interesting than humans. But maybe that's because I am one. That makes sense. Ah, yes. We are often intrigued with the unknown. The mayor sent me to tell the citizens about a meeting at the council chambers. Well, I shall certainly want to contribute to that ostentatious affair. But first, let me persuade you to assume responsibility for these four little human objects I found. They might be troublesome if left floating about. Floating about. Are there more balloons then? Four metal screws? They don't float. Yes. The size makes them particularly likely candidates for swallowing. But they don't float. I'll take care of them for you. Well, I'll go join my fellow citizens now. Be well, my human friend. It's been a pleasure. All right. We, we do need to clean up that balloon that you uh, threw up beside your bed. Which means that we only have uh, two more apartments left. But, um... 
Right, so we got the screws. We gotta recycle that bit. Adam picks up the deflated balloon and puts it into his garbage bag so that another animal doesn't swallow it. Great. So first of all, we're going to take a little um, trip to the watchman's apartment, the manatee. The sea cow. As you may have seen... His apartment light is out now that he's left for the council chambers. Absolutely. As you may have seen that there is a uh, sort of trading sequence going on here. Uh, they all need an item that you can get in another apartment. Right, so let's... Well, what you need now, Adam? Well, first of all, I'm going to take a little look around at your apartment, buddy. There are photographs on the wall of two older manatees. They must be Gregarious's parents. Nice. Sea vegetation decor... All the plants. The wall rack holds some of Gregarious's handyman tools. Some of Gregarious's tools are lying on the floor. They look rather dull. Gregarious's toolbox is lying on the floor. Adam is swimming in Gregarious's apartment. Gregarious is the watchman and handyman for the fish apartments, and his apartment is full of tools and gadgets. The manatee is absolutely covered with bandages. He's also turning blue. Why? Why are you turning blue? Why are you so blue, Gregarious? I'm uh, holding my breath. Why? Why on earth are you doing that? You see these bandages? I keep getting hit by the same dumb speedboat every time I go up to the surface to breathe. Dang propellers. I'm just not going up there no more. But you're a mammal. You have to go up to breathe real air or you'll suffocate. Nope, 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 don't care. I ain't going. That propeller has gotten the last piece of gregarious a manatee by a gill. Mm, but we can help you, probably. How about if I go up there with you? You can show me the boat while we're up there. Maybe I can do something about their propellers. Gee, Adam, you do that? <laughs> what a pal. Follow me. All right, we will follow you. Can you not swim? Why do you have to hop? Now he's swimming. <laughs> That's his... Gregarious as he leads the way up out of the city towards the ocean's surface. But <laughs> there was a butt. Pixelated cartoony manatee butt. A load of garbage appears from somewhere above. Oh man. Ouch. Ouch. Do we have to pick those up again? Probably have to. Oh. It sure feels good to breathe. Is this the boat? Yup. Gosh darn propellers anyway. Uh, okay, let's take a look. The fisherman has a face as tanned and wrinkled as old leather. Though he looks as tough and steady as a rock, he doesn't appear to be particularly unkind or spiteful. Okay. The boat has a large motor attached to its stern. Judging from Gregarious' scars, the underwater blades are uncovered and are dangerously sharp. The motor is currently off. The fishing boat is anchored. The boat that's terrorized Gregarious is only a little fishing vessel, but the danger its exposed propellers can create for surface-floating mammals is no small matter. Adam is swimming on the ocean's surface above Illyria. A small fishing boat is anchored nearby. Adam is swimming on... There's so many... Um... Lines. <laughs> Let's talk to him. Hey, Mr. Fisherman. What? Who said that? Where are me? I'm down here. Oh, a diver, eh? Why didn't you say so? Cockamamie kids. Cockamamie kids? What the hell does that mean? We just swam up through some of your trash. Lots of creatures have to live in the ocean. You shouldn't dump your stuff in here, you know. What's that? Creatures, is it? What do you think I'm fishing for? The ocean's a big place, matey. That little bit of trash ain't gonna hurt them fishies none. Uh, truth is, it will. But it does. You wouldn't believe all the trash down there. Anyway, that's not what I came to talk to you about. It's about Gregarious. Gregarious? That's a heck of a name for just a dumb manatee. And what's all them bandages for, anyhow? Because you keep hitting him with your propellers. 
My propellers? You mean my propellers did that? He says every time he comes up to breathe, your boat runs into him. Well, I'll be a land lover. What do I do about that? Um. Let me know if you think of something to do with them propellers. Adam well, generally prefers to talk to the. Yeah, I, 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 I know. The boat has a large motor attached. Okay, so can we do something? I mean, I know what to do, but I kind of want to figure out to see. Can we? Adam can't stop the propellers from hurting surface mammals by covering them up with his hand. I know. Adam doesn't want. To... Adam is on a mission and has no desire to desert Aluria and ride away in the fisherman's <laughs> boat. Adam is on. A... That's funny. Adam can't stop the. Yeah, and I know, but. Oh wait a minute, we have a cage. Well, this cage is like the ones my dad uses to cover their propellers on our lab boats. I bet it would work just as well on your propeller blades. I'm not sure I'm getting you, kid. But if you just want to take a shot at trying it, I won't holler none. All right. Good idea, but Adam needs some way to fasten the cage to the boat. Well, we got screws. Adam attaches the four screws to the steel cage. You want to give me a hand with this, Gregarious? Sure, Adam. Adam and Gregarious swim under the boat to attach the cage to the propellers. Nice. With Gregarious's help, Adam fits the steel cage over the propellers and fastens it on with the four screws. Well, I'll be there. Oh, I see what you're talking about now. That cage jimmies right over them propellers, don't it? Yep. Now you don't have to worry about the manatees. Thanks, son. You're not too bad for a kid. Thanks for making my boat safe. Guess I'll think about what you said about the garbage dumping. Thanks. Bye now. Yeah, and now we have to clean Adam and Gary's return to the ocean below. We have to clean all the, the stuff, man. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Now I can breathe any time I want to. Will you go to the mayor's meeting at the council chambers now? Well, I'll have to wait till everyone's out of the apartments. I am the watchman, you know, but I'll go along as soon as I can. Okay, bye. All right, so let's take a look at what they dropped here. What is that? A water pump, old but still working, lies on the ocean floor. It must have fallen from the fisherman's boat. Perhaps he got a newer model. All right. What is this then? The I fisherman's think... discarded wine bottle litters the ocean floor. Yuck. What is this? A sandwich? The fisherman seems partial to sushi sandwiches. Yeah, so I think we need to pick this one up. Adam snags the still functional water pump. And uh, recycle the other ones. Sandwich and a wine bottle. Uh, that's no use. Adam here. just says no and trashes the wine bottle. Great. Adam gives the sushi a decent burial. All right. Adam makes a clean sweep of the garbage around the fish apartments. Well, twice. All right, let's head into the last... Hey, it's still burning. Into the last apartment. So what's going on here? Oh boy. The water is filled with a milky substance. It makes Adam dizzy. Oh no! A bottle of chlorine bleach! Tropical fish collectors use bleach to stun fish so that they can catch them easily. The lionfish must have found the bottle up on the reef. Again, we this have This apartment learned. has a window to the outside. The lionfish has a painting on one wall. Perhaps she scavenged it from human trash, or perhaps it was painted by an artist friend. Yeah, I know who. A beautiful lionfish floats stunned and unconscious in the water. Can we talk to it? The lionfish is unconscious. She can't talk to Adam now. Uh, okay, first of all, we're gonna pick this up. Good idea. Try using the garbage bag. All right. I also want to take a look at what's on the table. The lionfish likes to fix up her apartment with objects she finds. She's used some old bottles to make the table legs. 
like the chlorine bottle. Got it. Adam picks up the bleach bottle and stores it away in his garbage bag. That stops new bleach from leaking into the water, but the apartment is still full of this stuff. Yeah, I think we gotta use the water pump. That's a good idea, but Adam needs to pump the contaminated water out of the room somehow. That's why we have a window. How convenient. Adam uses the water pump to cycle the old contaminated water out into the much bigger area of the open sea. The room slowly clears of bleach. Oh my, what happened here? You got drugged. You used a bottle of bleach for your table and the bleach knocked you out. I'm afraid bleach is one of those man-made dangers you'll have to watch out for. How are you feeling now? Hi, I'm fine. Just a little woozy. My name's Olympia. Who are you? Wow, your voice is weird. I'm Adam. I'm here to tell our citizens about a meeting in the council chambers. The mayor's asked everybody to come. A meeting? You mean with other fish? I, I don't know. I'm pretty shy, I'm afraid. I don't like crowds. What? But you have to. It's for the future. Why not? Well, it's my spines, you see. They're quite poisonous. I can't help it, you know. But there it is. I'm always afraid that others will be afraid of me. Or that somehow, accidentally... But you can't just hide in your room. Everyone needs friends. Listen to me, I sound just like my dad. I guess he's right after all. Anyway, I think you're really nice, and I think your spines are cool. You like my spines? I never thought anyone would like my spines. Well, maybe I could go. It is important, I think. Maybe your spines could help other citizens. How? If you truly like my spines, perhaps you'll accept a small gift for saving my life. This locket contains one of my baby spines. It's quite potent, though. Be careful how you use it. So we got a poisonous dart. Or dagger, or sword. Wow! A lionfish spine! Neat! Thanks, Olympia! Goodbye, Adam. May you be free from stings as long as you live. Thank you. Unless it's Sting from the police. Because he makes awesome music. So I think we're done. I think everyone has gone to the meeting. Uh, that means that we might be ready to attend the meeting as well. So let's see what the meeting is about. Uh, a little bit more. There. Can we go now, Adam, please? Yeah, okay. Why is that light still burning? Oh, now it's off. Well, all the citizens are gone now. I'm off to the council chambers for the meeting. See you there. <laughs> yeah, see you there. Sometime later. Ah, we are going to the meeting. Nice. Everyone's here. Oh, Adam, you did it. Because of you, we Allurians are ready to help ourselves. The new cleanup committee will keep the dangerous garbage from building up around the city, and the Flesh Eater Watch will sound the alarms whenever that horrible monster gets close. And thanks to your little lesson, we know a lot more about the dangers of human garbage and how to avoid them. Yeah, same here. I wish I could do more. I wish I could stop all this stuff from bothering you at all. Well, when you return to your world, just remember that feeling, and maybe you can help things get better someday. For now, why don't you take this gold mask as a sign of our gratitude? I don't need it anymore. The citizens seem to actually listen to me as little old superfluous. The great senator is gone for good. Great, so now we get the gold mask. Thanks, superfluous. I mean, Mr. Mayor. And, um... Hello, Delphinius. Illyria is safe for the moment. What do you mean? Well, the cleanup crews can't stop that horrid green ooze in the water, 
and Flesh Eater will keep haunting us. And then there's our food supply. I think we still have to find Cetus, Adam. Now that the city is okay for a while, I think it's time to go search for him. All right, it's in the title of the game, so why not? How do we start? Remember, the Oracle wanted to see you again? Let's see what she has to say. All right, let's head into the Oracle then. Uh, Oracle? The trident pushes in the three eyes, and the wall trembles. A panel slowly opens. She can just... Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, let's talk to her. The citizens must give their trust to you alone. Win them, you must. This sign of trust, bring back to me. And you shall have the prophecy. All right, uh, we got a gold mask. Adam hands the gold mask to the Oracle, holding his breath with anticipation. A sign of trust is given to me, a mask of gold for all to see. Poseidon's favor has been won by the child Adam, the chosen one. That's too much honor you're giving me. Here now is the prophecy. In the place where shadows creep, rest the poison of the deep. What came from man must now return, lest the kingdom die, the oceans burn. Held hostage is the king of peace. None shall be safe till he is released. Only love can face the one most vile to save us all, a human child. But how can I save the kingdom? That is a good question. Only fragments can I see, but let me tell them now to thee. Armor for a modern knight, from the depths of glowing light, a net of bones, a wall of stones, a floating orb, a silver wire, will help you in a place most dire. So, armor for a modern knight, from the depths of glowing light. So, we need armor, uh, we need glowing light. It's probably a flashlight or something. A net of bones and a wall of stones. I don't know. Floating orb, silver wire. Stuff. Here on parchment are the clues. May Poseidon watch all you. Adam takes a parchment scroll containing the prophecy from the Oracle. Well, off to a new quest then. We need to find some stuff. Do you have anything to say to us, Well, Tophanes? a prophecy, and to think I didn't know if I should bring you, Adam. Let's get started on our quest outside the city. All right. You're swimming upwards. I want to swim upwards, too. I can. Can I? Well, screw you, then. <laughs> We're heading that way. Oh no, this this is where the exit is. Yep. Come on, Adam. There's a reef south of the city. Let's head out and see what we can find. South of the city. Yes. But we're gonna do that next time. So thank you for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please click the like button if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel. Now, if you want to discuss this game or just hang out with me and my friends and play games, that is possible. We have a Discord. Link is down below. And the other way to reach out to me is on Twitter. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.